Hi, Alison. Chris Reed here from Harder SEO. Thanks very much for uh, booking in a video audit, and uh, thank you for listening to Amy's podcast. Hope you really liked it. It'd be a you know, real help for Amy and myself if you actually like and comment on the podcast and uh, rate her in iTunes. She'd greatly appreciate that and be able to help even more yogis. But uh, let's get into your video audit. So the first thing I've done is put, put in your domain into a tool that we have that shows your website traffic. And so we can see that you rank for 59 keywords, generate you 126 videos. But and you can see that it's very flat here over the last month, but there's something that has happened. You've dropped off significantly. So you were around 400 visitors. So this is the last six months, and this is uh, the amount of, amount of visitors. And you can see that you were looking around 300, 400 visitors, and now you're half that. If you put it over a year, you know, you were on the up, 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 and then something happened in August where you nearly lost all your website traffic, then it bounced back, and then something's happened again. And see this, uh, this red dot? That means that it coincides with a Google update. So it looks like there was something that, that needs to be investigated. I, I, without having access to your website, I wouldn't be able to uh, tell you what that is. I'd just be guessing. But um, let's look. At, let's not focus on the on on the bad. Let's focus on the potential that is ahead. And so, if we look on down here, here are all the keywords that you're in for, and this is the position that they're in. And you can see here that you know your brand name that you're number one for, and that generates you 77% of your visitors. Uh, you know, this other page slash classes, which is ranks number two. That generates you the other 21%. So 77% plus 21% is 98%. So yeah, that's that's where all your traffic's coming from. People that already know you. So you're not actually getting any traffic from uh, people that are out searching for you or searching for yoga who don't know you. So if we rank these uh, keywords by search volume, we can see now that here's the keyword and here's the search volume. So like Bikram Yoga Essex, that, that keyword has 720 searches a month, and you're number 63. Uh, Inspire Hot Yoga, you're number 300, there's 320 searches in the UK, you're number 22. Uh, Strong Back, Asquith Yoga, uh, 260. Yoga Luton, 210. Uh, any other yoga terms? Uh, giving up chocolate, yoga classes, Chelmsford, 210. And you can see that there's lots of yoga yoga keywords. I'm not sure if these are close enough to your goddess yoga. You know, I'm not sure if these are um, close enough to your home, but it's just to give you an idea of that there's plenty of search volume that you're not ranking for these keywords. But we can fix that. And how we, how we fix that? So if we go over to Google and type in site colon in your domain name, this will show all the pages you have indexed in Google in the order of what Google sees most authoritative to least authoritative. Uh, straight away I can see that your title tags, these bits, uh, aren't set and your descriptions aren't great. You know, uh, a title tag should be not your brand name. If pe people are searching for Inspire Yoga, well they already know you and you're going to be number one anyway so it's fine. It should be what it is you do. You know, yoga classes, yoga workshops, where are you located? What are the keywords people are going to be searching to find you, the people that don't know you? And the same with all of these other pages. Sure, it's great to have your brand name on the end, but it's much more important to have what it is you do. What is what is what are they searching for that's that they're going to find you? Uh, and then these descriptions should compel them to take action. Uh, Next, as you go through, you want to de-index pages that aren't going to add any value. I can't really see any of them off the top of my head, but I can see that your site is lacking any definitive site structure. So yeah, you've got lots of articles, which is fantastic, but we need to get these articles ranking. Uh, and so what I mean by site structure is so imagine if you sold dog food, right? You'd have your home page, then you'd have small dogs, medium dogs, large dogs, as category pages. And under small dogs, you'd have Chihuahua and Jack Russell. 
And this makes it really easy for users to find what they're looking for, but most importantly, easy for Google to understand which are your most important pages. So that uh, small dogs gets a lot more authority and ranks a lot better than uh, than Chihuahua. So you know it's really important to sort out your site structure, which we can certainly help you with, and you know an easy fix get get onto that metadata. So who am I anyway? Well, you know me from the podcast, but that's me right there. My name's Chris Reed. I'm the CEO and founder of Ardor SEO and a fellow yogi. And uh, we specialize and work with yoga studios just like yours all across uh, the UK, Australia, New Zealand, uh, the US, and we help them connect with the people that are actively searching for your services. You know, we know at the end of the day that search engine rankings do not pay the bills, new customers do. So we make sure that people are looking for you, find you, and take action. And uh, speaking of action, I'd like you to take a little bit right now by uh, clicking the button below this video. It's going to pop up my calendar. Just find a date and time that works for you, book in a call, and I'll show you exactly how we can generate thousands of more visitors to your website each and every month. Visitors that book in a class and become customers. So I hope you found that really interesting. I hope you're going to book in a call and we get to speak really soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.